Okay, today I'm going to tell you about how to use R programming to capture Twitter um, search results and capturing certain people's tweets, like at real Donald Trump or anybody else you want to grab their tweets from. First, you have to go to this site called apps.twitter.com and you have to register for a Twitter API. This is free and really, really simple to do. It's literally just a couple lines that you have to fill out. I already have one started called Trump Grabber. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new one. So this is what you're going to see is something similar to this. If I click on Create New App, uh, the internet's a little slow where I'm at, so bear with me. So the application details, you have to name your application. So my application name was tw uh, Trump Grabber. Then you put a quick description in there, no problem. Now website, if you don't have a website, it's okay. It's telling you that you don't have to have a URL down here. But you have to put something in there, so just put in some sort of placeholder, like uh, whatever website you want to put in there. Put my placeholder, your name, whatever. And then callback URL, you don't need to input. Once you click on create your Twitter application, it's going to allow you to have a API key, a secret API key, some token keys. You'll see more about that in a minute. But I'm not going to show you that part. That should be intuitive, and you should be able to do that pretty easily on your own. Um, you have to create a what they call a token generator and I'll show you that in a second uh, where that goes so let's go to R and I'll show you the code here now I've, I've already pre-processed some of my data so that you can't see my actual API keys or my token keys but when you go to the Twitter account like I showed you you would paste those in here so API key it's very self-explanatory cut and paste the API key from Twitter to where these X's are same thing with the API secret and then the access token and access token secret those will be generated when you click on that little generate token button on the Twitter account. So that's the most that's the hardest part about grabbing tweets from Twitter using R. The two libraries you have to install it are the Twitter R and the RO auth libraries. You can include the libraries like this as I did in the code, but you might have to install them. You can do uh, you can write the command line or you can go to packages, install, and just literally type in Twitter R caps matters. And then click on install. There you have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this and show you how to grab some grab some tweets in various ways, and we'll go from there because it's very simple. And I want you to be able to uh, use this today. So include these libraries, run that run that code, run your API code so that they are um, stored in these variables, and then on line 11, this is where this is where the magic happens where you connect to the uh, Twitter API. So set up Twitter o auth, auth, and then you put in your API key your API secret, access token, and access token secret. Okay, so now I'm gonna run these other this other code where it says grab latest tweets. So the first one on line 14 is gonna run code to grab 50 of real Donald Trump's latest tweets. So it's from, this is the key part here, from colon real Donald Trump. That's how you do that. The next line here is at real Donald Trump. What that's gonna do is it's gonna grab me the, the latest 200 occurrences of at real Donald Trump so anybody could have tagged him and that's what that will grab so let's run that one and then of course the last one is just two keywords we're looking for is it's gotta have the word morning in there and bacon and I want to grab the latest, latest hundred of these one key thing to know is that you can't just arbitrarily grab like 5,000 items per se you can but the the Twitter API will only allow you to go back about a week or 10 days or something like that. So if I ask for Twitter's last 5,000 tweets, it's going to give a warning saying, warning, we've only grabbed the latest you know, 100 tweets because that's all he's tweeted in, in a seven-day period or whatnot. I'll show you that here in a second too. So we've got, uh, let's put these into data frames right here on line 19, 20, and 21. And we can see over here on the right where the data is, tweets.df, let's click on it, and we go to it. So we have under President Trump, Trump unemployed, and it goes on. And you can you can do it that way. And we've got all these different um, columns here. Favorite count, how many times it's been favorited, what date it was created, was it a retweet, things like that. So check out some of these fields, see what you can do with it. The reason why it's in a data frame is because it's easier to manipulate that way. Because if you actually just um, use these tweets, that, the tweets underscore Trump, you'll it'll be all mushed together and not easily uh, usable. And then what I like to do sometimes is write these to CSV files and that's it. So I created CSV files right here using write.csv and those will show up in Excel so you can manipulate them that way as well. Okay, so that is it for uh, creating a tweet scraper. Hope you enjoyed the video.